how should you be communicating with your most loyal customers? What about customers who aren't as profitable as your most loyal ones? The customer segmentation pyramid that I'm about to walk you through is a great example of the way that you can segment your customers by customer lifetime value as a way to inform your marketing and communication strategy. Let's dive in. What is an example of customer segmentation? Well, near the millennium, researcher Valerie Zeithmel and others published a book called Driving Customer Equity, How Customer Lifetime Value is Reshaping Corporate Strategy. And in it, they defined a customer pyramid model with four types of customers based on profitability. At the very top of the pyramid, the platinum tier described the company's most profitable customers who are also committed to the company. The next tier is the gold tier, which includes customers whose profitability levels are not as high because perhaps they want price discounts or are not as loyal as the platinum tier. The third tier is the iron tier, and that contains essential customers who provide essential volume to use the firm's capacity, but whose loyalty and profitability are not substantial enough for special treatment. And then finally, the lower tier was called the lead tier, which consists of customers who are costing the company money. Now, these four tiers have certain characteristics. The general idea is that platinum customers are already committed and therefore they should be treated in such a way that you're not over marketing to them. Uh, they already love the company. So they require a special kind of treatment. The gold customers, however, are those that don't yet have that same loyalty. So they oftentimes need a little bit something extra, like a service guarantee or something to make them feel good so that they can move up to the platinum level. The iron level contains a lot of different variables, which oftentimes require research to discover what will move this level up. And also because it's a larger level in terms of volume, there can be lots of different triggers. Now, Zeifel, when she did the research, she concluded that the lead customers were customers who were costing the company money. But what we have found subsequently was that lead customers are still an important part of the mix. And even though a customer may cost you money today, it doesn't necessarily mean that you should get the lead out and cut all your lead customers. So this is the four part model that we often use to segment customers by their lifetime value, which can also include their profitability.